Kijk, tijd gehouden. Zo, wat dit day is about is going back up the tree. We're going from the Earth sphere back into the astral plane, into the matrix. Okay. So, on the ninth day, we went through the matrix, going down the tree. Okay, and the idea of that day was that we made peace with the matrix. We made peace with the agents in a sense. For for me, there was like some guy who had been an agent acted as an agent before, so I'd assume it was an agent, come up and talk to me and um, was relatively friendly and stuff, you know, because, you know, generally people are when you first, you know, even agents, like when you first meet them, they quite often are friendly and they'll wait until they can get a, an opportunity to sort of buck you up without you sort of like, when you've let your guard down, okay? I didn't let my guard down. <laughs> <laughs> So as far as I'm concerned, there's a good chance that the agents are really watching me and looking for an opportunity to fucking, you know, take me out. And that's quite, quite likely. Um, the thing is, yeah, I'm expecting that. As I said, the, the, reason, the way to deal with the agents in the Matrix is to, to expect them. You know, be fully prepared all the time. You know? And then there's... This kind of relates back to other things I, I was doing uh, a few months ago about eating people's souls. There's going to be an unpleasant, you know, a, a bit of a, you know, um, that's that's what I do anyway. That's what I do. How I deal with it. Um, if if I get people, you know, agents coming to uh, give me a hard time, but like if I, if this happens to me today when I go out to, for today's work, I will take their souls. You know, that will be my way of dealing with it. And the agents know that, and that's why I believe they will leave me alone because there's nothing they can really do against me at the moment. You know, if I'm going to take people's souls who, who act as agents, they lose all that power and they know there's not really anything they can do. Unless they can find some sort of real easy chink in my armour and get through without actually, you know, taking any risks themselves or for their you know, their little beings, their minions. They probably will not touch me. That's what I'm I'm kind of I'm not banking on it, because I I'm the only way to, to to approach them is to expect them to be, you know, gonna try and hit to give you a hit. You know, and uh take you out. Um, so that's how I have to go into it. So that's the thing for today. It's going back into the matrix. Um, that's really what I'm going to leave it as for today, this, this whole lesson. It's just going to be about another 40 minutes of going back into the matrix and preparing yourself for it. You know. However, um, <laughs> okay, so this is just the pre-day, you know, this is just early in the morning, so I'll, I'll do another video for this. But that's the basic idea for today. We're going back into the matrix. We should have already made peace with it. Ah, I'm fully prepared. I'm charged up. This is what I'll be doing. I'll be charging up, getting all my like, astral weapons ready and stuff, and you know, and expecting the the, the, the agents to come and like give me souls. <laughs> But a lot of it will be like getting myself in a really positive, energetic um, frame of mind, you know, so that whenever they are, you know, they hate that. They, it's like an attraction for them, you know, it's like they want to get rid of my happiness and my positive energy. But because I'll also be expecting them, it will like, they will just, it will just make them dissolve away like, like, uh, like wax before a fire. <laughs> So that's one of the keys for today is getting in completely in the right frame of mind um, and emotion and stuff. For when you go back into the matrix, it's like you're going to kick ass, and you know you're going to kick ass, and it's not anyone, anything, can, any, uh, nothing the agents can do about it. That's the high. That's the the, the the work for today. You've got to get in the right frame of mind, the right sort of whole attitude to going into the matrix and, and owning it. You own Agent Smith. Agent Smith is your bitch. That's what it is. Agent Smith is your bitch. <laughs>